today I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to make your own banner guide if you don't already know like um, what's it called uh, the banner outlines kind of thing right so if you can hear my uh, uh, air conditioning sorry about that but I don't really have control over that so you know alright so let's get started this tutorial is only for people starting with graphics because pretty much everybody that has been doing it for a while has one of these <laughs> But I'm just going to show you how I made mine. Uh, if I can open it. <laughs> uh, where is it. There it is. Still waiting. My computer sucks, by the way. If you didn't know, well, you don't know because I've never told um, my channel this. But I have a late 2009 MacBook with 512 megabytes on the uh, graphics card. And uh, it's got two gigabytes of RAM and a 250 gigabyte hard drive, so it's a pretty crap computer. I'm getting a new one this summer though, and actually my friend Case Slice helped me pick out some of the parts and one of my uh, real friends, and they're both gonna help me build it kind of. So yeah, still waiting on this load. This is taking forever. I don't know why. All right. Well, uh, there we go. As you can see, it's just like the outline for the middle of the banner, and it has the, um, you know, all these guides and stuff, the safe lines. Uh, what I did actually is I downloaded like a template from the internet. Uh, for these safe guide things so it's just easier but yeah you can do it yourself uh, I'll show you how so if I hide all of this um, there we go let me just put this in the main folder there we go Alright, so uh, I'm going to turn off the guides, or clear guides, I mean. Or yeah, here I'll just turn them off, I think. Mm, wait. Yeah, clear guides. Alright, so first you're going to get, gonna, you're going to want to make a, uh, a new thing. And I'll show you the dimensions. Look, like I don't even want to make anything new. It still takes forever. Here are the dimensions. Camera size. You're gonna want to make it 35.556 inches by 20, or just 2560 pixels by 100 in by. I just cannot talk. By 1440. Excuse me. I don't know why, I just like, I'm eating stuff right now, like pretzels, and I, it's getting in my teeth. I don't know. Next, you, what you're going to want to do is uh, find the middle. So by doing that, you're going to want to get a guide. There you go. Um, go to here. And it's kind of going to stop you around the middle, like as you can see, it's kind of stopping me like a magnet. Alright, so there's your guide. And then, uh, you're going to want to find a banner, full size, so I'd pull it off someone's port or something. Uh, I'll just place one of mine. Just so you can know uh, the dimensions, kind of. Like where you should put the banner and stuff. For the background. Uh, GFX. Portfolio stuff. And I'll take the 
positive contest one. I like that one. <sighs> All right, so there we go. As you can see, it's full size. It already pre-placed it in the middle, right there. Um. So yeah, basically now what you're gonna want to do is if this was a little. Come on. Come on. Alright, there we go. Now, let's see. Make a new layer. Go to the fill bucket tool. And then check all layers if you already if you don't already have it checked. I wanna make mine like an off white kind of color. So maybe like a gray like that. Okay, so we've got that. Then you can hide this if you want or just delete it. Cause it's kind of uh irrelevant. Like you kind of need it, so you can do the uh, new guide vertical. Kind of find like the safe things for the banners. I'm not really sure where to find those. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Um, oops. What did I just do? do that move there we go all right so most people you don't even really need a safe guide just remember that maybe like on mobile and stuff only about like right here or right here will show like the the middle so that's that but next you're gonna want to get more guides new guide here I just keep them on the outside like this kind of guide. Just for perspective if you ever need to zoom out or something. New guide vertic or horizontal this time. Keep that there. Guide horizontal. Bring that all the way to the bottom. Oops. There we go. You guide horizontal. I still need two more vertical ones. I just didn't know. You're gonna want to get it like right there on the edge. There we go. Another new guide horizontal. What? I hate my computer so much, I don't even know why I would do that. There we go, right there. Then I'm just going to put in like two more vertical ones just for the outside. Actually, no, they're already running along the outside, what am I talking about? Alright, so there you have the basic banner guide. Um, I'm just going to delete this. Oops, I don't get the main. Then what you're going to want to do is get the paint bucket again. And I suggest a red. Like the red color. The FF0 whatever. Thing. Then just fill that. Make sure all layers are still on. So it only makes the bar in the middle there go there. And then you're going to want to get a hue slash saturation. And then turn the satur or put colorize on, turn the saturation all the way up or down depending on the hue you want. So this way you can change the background color really easily. And if you want a simple white, black, or gray, you can just do this and turn the saturation all the way down. And then you get your whites, blacks, and grays. So there's that. I'm gonna put a clipping mask on this. And make a folder and call it background. So there you go. This I'm going to call foreground. And 
Oops. And I'm gonna put that in there. And then also, if you wanna put in like your signature logos or anything in there, I'm gonna put both. For now, uh, GFX. It's myself. It's my signature. Uh, this was made by Rusher Designs. So credit to him for that. It's pretty sick. Make that 60%. Actually, a little bit more than 60. How about 80? Yeah, 80 seems good. There we go, 80%. Center that. And I'm making small movements with my arrow keys. Um, cause that helps just inch it towards there or whatever. And I'm gonna turn down the opacity. Just so it kind of fades there, but you can still see it says blood rust. Or you can do like an inner bevel. By just going down to inner shadow. First you're gonna wanna make this a, uh, a white. With having the inner shadow. Uh, I don't want this to be full white. Whoa. Kind of want this to be a little bit darker. So it's got that gray kind of thing. Turn down the opacity. Uh, it's just going to make it darker because. Whatever. Um, here. All right, that looks like a good gray, and then we've got the inner shadow there, and so it kind of looks like it's bubbled in. And usually, I do like a stroke by one pixel, and then turn down the opacity. That gives it kind of an effect as well. So there we go, that's how you do like an inner bevel kind of thing. Then next, uh, I'm just gonna put my put my logo in there. So if I need to put it on a client's banner or whatever, just to show that I did it. I can do that. So there's my logo. And so, what you can do with your logo is in your um, banner guide is when you when you're making a banner you can just quickly put it onto your um, clients template or to your clients banner just so people know that you did it or whatever and it's your own little twist so I just put on my actual banner guide I just keep that on like low opacity and it's just there but alright so that's pretty much how you make a banner guide I mean there's not much to it but I just thought some people would like to know um, because for people starting out Photoshop, like for me, this would have been really helpful. So uh, I decided to do it for you guys who are just starting out and watching me and stuff. So yeah, that's how you make a banner guide. And then if you keep if you keep the uh, background and foreground, and then your banner in between, as you can see. If I were to like go ahead and just paint everywhere, it wouldn't affect any of the foreground, obviously, because the layer is below it. So that's cool. And like and like I showed you, you can change the background color to whatever you want. So yeah, that's my tutorial of a banner guide. See you guys later.